Okay, the information you need for this section is really simple. In a browser, you're going to go to creativecommons.org slash choose. And when you come to this page, you will be able to choose the different features in Creative Commons that you would like to attribute to your work. For instance, do you want to allow adaptations of your work to be shared? Well, do you want people to be able to use the things you create in their classrooms? The majority of us will say yes, as long as others share alike. That means that they will be using the, the information and the instructional content that you have created and when they create their own materials they will share it in the same way. Um, so nobody will be able to change the way they use your stuff. This encourages a community that shares and contributes together. So I strongly suggest you use the yes as long as others share alike option. And then allow commercial uses of your work and I usually say no and this means that people cannot take your work and then make money off of it. And the next item you want to fill out is the title of your work, attribute work, so your name, the URL that the work is at, um, more permissions, the format, you either have audio, video, etc. Um, we're going to choose video and this is going to be an HTML. We'll leave that as it is. You'll notice that all of these options that we've selected has changed the license. And here is the image of the license. You can either right click and copy this, uh, save the image to the desk to keep just this image icon. You can copy this image to put on your um, project that you create, or you can copy this code if it's a website. So you would copy the information and go and place it on the project that you've created that you would like to have licensed. And that is how easy it is to Creative Commons your materials.